tracking substance abuse in Stone and Taney counties. For the past year, Cox Branson and the Skaggs Foundation have been working to outline drug-related threats in the community. And today, they released some of their proposed solutions. Our Grant Sloan joining us now from Branson tonight with this story. Hi, Grant. Well, Jennifer, we've been covering this initiative for several months now as Skaggs and Cox Medical Center Branson has met with community leaders to see just exactly what kind of challenges they're seeing in Stone and Taney counties. Now, through drug summits like this one back in April, Skaggs has chosen to focus its efforts primarily on prescription drug abuse and then also alcohol use. Now, while the challenges of opioids are well known, Skaggs says alcohol use impacts environments in the home, workplace, and schools. And it's something that's heard time and again from stakeholders like local law enforcement. Now, as for some of the next steps that they are considering, and these are just recommendations, they include coordinating between recovery centers, so they're kind of on the same page, again, focusing on alcohol and opioids, creating a data center for the community to access information, and then evidence-based evidence -based approaches such as new school programs. Project coordinator Marietta Hagen says education is an area where the community could get its biggest return on its investment. Basically, it's the idea of getting um, a prevention specialist into the schools to teach. Um, mostly, it's character education, and uh, to those young or earlier grades, we realize that this is a long-term process. Prevention takes a long time to really implement correctly and to f to get results from. Now, other drugs such as meth and marijuana were also high on the list, but Skaggs says it's important to kind of take a focused approach. Now, Skaggs will continue meeting with community leaders as it decides what plans it's going to implement. Reporting live in Branson, Grant Sloan, Color 10 News, Ozarks First. Now, in this particular study, other factors that contribute to substance abuse include employment and school attendance. The research found that Stone and Taney counties offer few job opportunities outside the tourism industry. There is a high level of employment opportunity during peak seasons, but low opportunity during the off season. This kind of pattern creates a housing issue. In fact, an average home costs $200,000. So some families turn to motel rentals as a way to live and those are usually inadequate for families. The study also found Taney County has also has a higher than average absenteeism rate in school. The state average is 15.7%. Taney County stands at 18.2. Coming up next.